Greetings, viewers, and welcome back. Here we are hanging out with Trader Jen. She's got some of the best discounts in the wasteland, so uh, glad to see her. Anyway, we were in the middle of going to a mission, and then I realized we had too much time on the clock, and we had to stop, so we, uh, we're going to go ahead and start playing and head to that. Got some friends outside that are trying to get at her discounts. I'm not sure where they are, but it sounds like a them problem. We got stuff to do. All we have to do is retrieve supplies, so technically we could just find the supplies, snag them, and run off. But, you know, gotta kill stuff, get XP, get loot, prosper. So I don't want this to be kind of what it was at the end of the agility series where it was just mission after mission after mission over and over and over again. It's a really great way to get XP and rewards, but it also just kind of gets a little boring, sort of. I know, again, same situation, waiting on Alpha 21 to drop. Alpha 20 will not work. Once Alpha 21 drops, so you go to load your game, it's not going to be compatible and you're going to have issues. I feel like as well as I've done so far in this series already just to start with, that it's going to be right around the corner and I'm going to lose all my progress, which is fine. That's the risk I take by launching it. But, you know, I can hold out hope that we can get it done. Okey-dokey. Some food, that's always good. Uh, let's go ahead and just eat and drink this stuff. More nails, loving it. Uh, well, I don't know, I think we can make tea and we'll need it to eat those sham sandwiches, so actually that could be good to hold on to. As sad as that is to say, but we've got to play to our strengths in the series with what's in the stat line, and Master Chef is one of those strengths. Uh, stamina and mobility. I don't think we can put that on padded armor. Put her on that though. More gas. Hopefully we'll have a nice stockpile of gas by the time we can get our hands on a mini bike. And there we go, there's the supplies. But this POI isn't that big. There should only be a couple zombies inside. Uh, I think one of them is usually a lumberjack. Oh, slow down, buddy. You'll get your turn, don't worry. Every time I've come here in the past, it's been a lumberjack out there. There they are. Hey, dummies. Now I'm up here. Haha. <laughs> Type shotguns are horrible. Still didn't take him out. But we did enough damage to him. We should be able to uh, 
do that. Play the, uh... Open the door, smack you in the face, close the door game. All right. Fun times. All right, there was some stuff up there to loot. Not going to pass that up. Not worth. Sounds like we have some angry folks outside. Let's uh, see what... All right, they're outside the fence. All right, I'm not wasting all my arrows doing that. Uh, there's our nine mil weapon. There's our chain. We're gonna put that on our club. Either way, it upgrades the uh, damage and chance to knock down opponents, which I mean, we're already knocking them down pretty well, I think. Some seven six two. Hey, there we go. That's what we want to see. 10% more damage with clubs. Yes, please. Perfect book to find. Microwaves their water. I guess in desperate times, that could be a good way to uh, sanitize it. All right, two lockpicks to get that one done. We still have one more to go. Hey, nice little stash of uh, shotgun ammo. I don't know how they expect you to get out of here. Because you can't climb back out. Not happy with us. We are encumbered AF. Oh, there's three of them. That's fun. We got chance to knock down increase, 10% more damage. That was a perfect book to find. Next best thing might be a uh, degradation reduction. That is going to take a minute to get back to the trader. Go ahead and make sure everything is loaded in case we need it with what limited ammo that we actually have. As a just in case. Jen. Another. Well, that didn't take long. Nice well, work. I already have one of those. Shotgun's part of the strength tree, so uh, let's do that. We'll go ahead and grab a job from her, but I think we're going to head back to the house. You need some work? Fast food. I need some. Thanks, son. I knew you let me down. Wow. Advance to that stage in our relationship, huh? Let's go check what we left in the chest here and... Get our loot sorted, and then we're gonna head back to the house before it gets dark. 
So this is what we're going to roll with back to the house. Actually, we can sell those boots. You don't look so good. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. Yep, I've got some, but thanks. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Right back at you, kid. All right. We're not going to head to the rally point. We are going to head back to the house. So I will meet you there. All right. So we made it back home. That took an exorbitant amount of time to get here while absolutely slap full encumbered. I'm going to go ahead and get this loot stuff put away. I'm going to try and get some food and water crafted, probably some goldenrod tea since I have this. We have some sham sandwiches to eat so we can use those as food options. If we get dysentery, we'll have the tea. So let me go ahead and get that done. Gates out there open for zombies. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make another storage crate. There is a zombie that's out there wandering around in front of the sensor and causing the gate to just open and close over and over and over again. Thankfully, they don't sense us. Perhaps we're in too close. We're in far enough away from the exterior walls that they're not actually trying to get to us. I don't know, but I'll take it. Uh, that light's going to have to go. Put our next storage box up here. Probably just end up having maybe six of them here. I don't like when it's a half wall and they're floating away from it. I just think that looks kind of janky. If we get a wrench, we can take this thing apart and get some forged steel out of it. You don't see too many of those. So what I'd like to do is get back out to the base here. Let's grab some more wood. Alright, so that's a little bit bigger than the small platform here. Again, I'm really not sure how big I want to make this. I don't know that we need it too much bigger than it is, as long as I have something coming across the center here. I'm going to go ahead and bust out the shovel. So I want the pit to extend from exactly where this, basically these blocks end going down and then all the way across until wherever we decide the, uh, 
point is that the zombies are going to go up and over. So that's definitely going to be built up some. I want them to have at least a semi-decent fall to have to make if they fail to cross the balance beam successfully. Thank you for my XP. Again, I do not have a set blueprint plan that I'm using to build this, so I just have a general idea, and we're going to work from there. So there's going to be blocks on top of that that are going to build up. The only problem is, is if zombies get underneath here, well, I guess with that set that way, that should squish them. They shouldn't be punching this, but theoretically, if they're under here and they're punching this, I can't see them. I have no access, no nothing. So they could theoretically topple the entire base and I have absolutely no way to stop them. However, since they'll have a path to get up to me, hopefully they'll see that and try and follow it the best that they are able. Let's go ahead and do this so we can get up here. All right, well, we got a skill point after doing that, I think. Probably because we're going to be doing a lot of digging to get this base sorted. Until we get strength up, we can't really increase anything else. I know we're using the sledgehammer, but this club's doing us pretty well so far. I think we're going to go ahead and do a minor 69er. We can make at least a level 2 shovel. So we're going to go ahead and scrap our level 1. This is going to have to be several more blocks tall so i do not want to completely fill the entire solid core all the way up to where we're building i'm going to stick with making the ring around the outside that way when it comes time to fill the middle it's not soft, squishy blocks that the zombies may see as, hey, you know what? If we pile up enough and we bash our way, we can make our own set of stairs. Because I'm probably going to put a ladder on the outside of this thing going up where they can't reach it. I just need to figure out what the height I'm going up with the tower is versus how deep I'm going with the hole that I'm digging.
All right, so I know it doesn't look like much, but this is going to end up being deeper. I want a big, deep pit right here between this platform and that tower-ish thing that is hovering. I know that's cheesy, but I just wanted to try something different, you know? Probably going to go up maybe one or two more blocks high. This is going to be significantly deeper than it is. This will be the location where the zombies basically have to drop down the pit. They're going to have to probably grab a ladder, climb up to the height of this, which will match the height of that. Once they get up there, they're going to have to traverse, get across a super skinny balance beam. I may put some obstacles in the way to hopefully throw them off so it encourages them to fall. They'll fall down in the pit, makes the, make the circle all over again. I may or may not reinforce the whole thing inside with blocks. Otherwise, they'll just be angry and punching dirt when they get mad and then make their way back to the ladder, climb back up, give it another try to get across. So we've got three days basically till that happens. So I'm going to try and get this somewhat rudimentary at least. The first horde should not be too terrible, but I always like to be a little bit over prepared because then the more prepared we are for the first horde, then that means we're ahead of the game for the second, third, fourth, subsequent after that. However, we have run out of time on recording for today, so I am going to have to call the video here. If you've made it this far, I greatly appreciate you watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel the need to do. If there's anything I can do to make my videos better for you at any time, please feel free to let me know. And with that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.